I'm so excited. If you know anything about me, you know I love all things confidence, strength, power, and in my opinion, there is nothing more powerful than a drag queen. But I know very little and my skill level is very low, so I had to bring in an expert. Please welcome Bob the Drag Queen. Although I guess there's Bob right now. Yeah, Bob, listen, <laughs> if you love confidence, I can't wait to break you. Um, <laughs> excited about this and also I'm not gonna lie like kind of very extremely nervous can I ask you something before we dive into this yeah of course because I know you're like a pro and you're an expert who's allowed to do drag like am I allowed to do this oh of course Let me, this is how I define drag drag is creating art and then blurring the gender line mm -hmm. so it doesn't mean like you have to be dressing like a man or a woman can't do this or if you're non-binary you can't do it for example when Cher is dressed up in all that mm -hmm. that is playing with gender it's hyper feminization mm -hmm. so anyone can do drag anyone. I'm so for this listen as the former queen <laughs> I hereby declare with this concealer <laughs> you are doing drag I'm so excited I'm gonna be very bad at this same <laughs> Just to let you know, my makeup routine is like foundation, mascara. We're gonna do a a, a scotch more. That's a pinch. So we gotta start by, you gotta clean the slate. Oh. You're gonna pluck the lashes. Oh, for real? Yes, you can't do makeup with lashes okay. on. Okay. I don't know about you, but I don't know why I do this. I always use them as a mustache after every single time. <laughs> it's, I don't know, I can't explain why. Listen, I wanna do this like Bob does it, okay? I will do as you say. I'm gonna show you my first step. Okay. Look. Now you're saying you want to do it like Bob the Drag Queen. You are shaving your eyebrows. The sir. whole thing from here to here. You don't have the razor for this book. <laughs> there is a literal real glue stick here, which I was not anticipating. So you're going to cover your eyebrows. This is to give yourself a clean slate because you don't want to use the eyebrows you have. Yeah, hold it okay, back. Is this going to be purple? I have glued down on several many brows in my day. I would love to get my hands on Eugene Levy. Dan Levy, if you're watching this, Tell your dad, I'm grabbing the glue stick and I'm coming to Canada and I'm gonna glue those brows down. And then back toward your temples. There you go. There oh you my go. God, I'm doing it. <laughs> Y'all, I did it. Lily, you have not done anything. <laughs> <laughs> You've literally put glue on one eye. I did drag. We're in drag. <laughs> so I want you to be thinking about a drag name while you're here. Okay. Now drag names come in a couple of different um, Wait, phases, right? Okay. There's opulent names like Manuela Dupree, Balenciaga, and there's also names that mean other things. Like if you're a clumsy drag queen, your name could be like Belinda China Shop. Like first name <laughs> Belinda. So do, do this to your face, do you see this? Yeah. Put makeup everywhere outside of this. Outside of here. So on a scale of one to 10, because I know drag is so like beautiful and powerful, but, but do you feel the, any discomfort? <laughs> you know what, drag is very comfortable. But you feel discomfort, but you know, there's a power exchange, because now you have power. Right. You got it. it's like Rumpelstiltskin. It's like, <laughs> I will give ye power, but ye feet will be mangled. Okay. It's very that. All right, that's the exchange. I got it, I got it. <laughs> it's like, ye will be the tallest, however, Spina Bifida will be your best friend. Okay. Also, bear in mind, technically, after this, I will be your drag mom. For real? Oh yeah, for sure. I, that's an honor. I am. That's an extreme honor for me. It's you. an honor for me. What would I be? You'll you? be my drag daughter. <laughs> oh my God, I'm gonna come to your first You're the first school. person I've touched in the last year. <laughs> <laughs> my foundation is called um, Africa. No, I'm kidding. It's called. Um, <laughs> Mine is called Deep Ebony. I literally have a makeup color at home called Taj Mahal. <laughs> the, it, it, see, only, <laughs> only for like ethnic people. Yeah. They're like, if you're Mexican, your makeup is called rice. <laughs> we are about to engage in one of the most dangerous parts of makeup, eyebrows. <laughs> so you have to draw your eyebrows. So now, let me tell you a famous quote. I did not make this up. Your eyebrows need to be sisters, not twins. Wait, what? Wait, what do I use to do my eyebrows? Now, sometimes you end up with like, just two girls who went to high school together who always told, you look alike, but we don't see it. You don't want that. So start on the inside, like, and then do the exact same thing on the other side. Okay. Now, do those look the same to you? You know those are not, they're not in the same spot. Oh, really? I thought you were gonna say I nailed it. Lily, you know. Wait, are, are you telling me these are not the same? Lily. I'm gonna get my... Okay. That's pretty good. <laughs> 
That's pretty good. You're Thank have, you. All right. Do I fill it in now? Yes, now you fill, but whoa, whoa, whoa. Let me tell you a little thing. You were, you were eager. It's like when you go to Chipotle and they threaten you <laughs> with the, with the uh, Pico. You get in there like, Pico, mild, mild. And you're like, can you let me tell you mild every time? I'm and you know guac is extra, right? <laughs> I'm like, bitch, I just got my stimulus check. Make it rain. Guac is extra. <laughs> Thanks, Biden. Guac for everybody. Lily, this, you are so much better at this than I was when I started. For, do you actually think so? Lily, I'm not For kidding. real? I will send you pictures of me when I started, and it was, it was, I don't even know how anyone let me in any doors at any what point do time. What do you mean? You're Child, boring, I was boring, looking boring. wild. Do I look surprised? A little, a, do I look, look, look at me? You look mean, which I love. You want to just look like you're either trying to steal a mermaid's voice or kill a, a hundred puppies. <laughs> Are y'all on the budget? You yes, you yes, <laughs> yes. So, have you thought about, about your dragon name at all? Do you want it to be? I kind of have. I kind of have a direction. Should I tell you? Yeah. What, what are okay. you thinking? In Punjabi, the word morni means peacock. Okay. And I think peacocks are very pretty. And like that's kind of what my most elegant, powerful version of myself is a peacock. More than me. Okay, yeah. let's think about that, because that kind of sounds, I'm going to keep ruminating my head. You're so good. All right, tell them all my drag sisters that, because they're shady. <laughs> <laughs> you hear that, Kimchi? I'm, I'm good. Yeah, could you have done Miss Kim? Huh? Huh? So how did you get into drag the very first time you did it? I did it for the money. Yes! The art. Okay. I love it. No, I, I <laughs> drag is not good money in the beginning. Let me tell you that right now. Um, I, I got into drag because I, I saw it, I saw it on TV and I saw like it's actually this drag queen named Bibi Zahara Benet. She's the first winner of season one of RuPaul's Drag Race, and I saw this like African person on TV who was femme and amazing and all the things that I thought were negative about me. Yeah. And then I saw her on TV being praised for everything that I was told was my detriment. I mean, Lily, real talk, you've been that for someone. You've been like someone saw a brown girl on TV and someone saw you doing it and I saw someone on TV who I thought looked like me, sounded like me, and I said, I want to do that. I really want to do that. That's so lovely. I love that so much. Ooh, not this hair. It's the hair for me. Welcome to my world. Just do what I did. Male pattern baldness. I think about it every day. Hi, do you have too much hair? Would yes. you like to spend less money on shampoo? Definitely. Try male pattern baldness. Tell me more. <laughs> <laughs> For just three easy payments of being almost 40, you too. That's the that shape. looks epic. That's the shape you want. You got this. Okay. This is where they underscore training music. <laughs> Are you supposed to burn? I'm gonna do a little bit of damage control here. All right. Glitter up your life. As long as you keep it out of the blue part, you're fine. Okay. Try to just put it on. it in the blue part. Be gagging. You wanna take me to prom? It's not 100% like, but this is, I was really expecting a war zone. <laughs> like, I was expecting like Rodney King riots on the face. <laughs> oh. Did you futz it? I followed the arc of my natural eye. <gasps> Where? <gasps> skills just kicked in and you were like, I'm doing the, oh my. I didn't even think about it, it just happened. It just happened. And that's the reason I call it concealer. Oh, yeah. it's perfectly fine. Yeah, there, now don't do that again. You finish your brows up, I'm gonna clean them up when you're done finishing them up. I was done. <laughs> Yo, I have a whole new respect for the precision. You know, drag is like a Monet painting. You're not meant to see it too close up. I thought of a great name. Okay, tell me, tell me, tell me. What do you think of morning and night? Like morning or night? I love that. Morning or night? Ooh! That's cute, right? I love that. I love that. I'm told. That's lit. Okay. That's lit. Is it proof? Mom, yeah, you approve? Yeah, that's it. That's it. All right. Lashes, and mm -hmm. we're done. Am I going to be able to see? Is that important? Okay. Oh, whoa, whoa, girl. What? That's the wrong side. Oh. That is an eyelash and a half. <laughs> oh, yeah. Then you got to put these on. What? We're doing oh, really? drag, not the daytime Emmys. Oh! 
Hello. All right, so your face is done. They have to just get dressed. We're gonna put you in a corset and we're gonna get you some little hip bumps to make it all really. This is, it, this is a little, it's not gonna hurt them. Let's just see what happens when we get there, shall we? I generally avoid wearing anything tight or heels. I feel like the crew knows that, so I don't think that's what's gonna happen right now. Bob, I need your help. There's a situation happening in my booty. Wait. All right, honey. Dang! Dang! What happened? I feel physical pain. What? Oh. You look incredible. When this is done, we're gonna fully be Michelle and Kamala kicking it. <laughs> I'm supposed to put these three. Yes. Uh, also, do you have a do you have a corset by any chance? I do have a corset. Um, you ready for this big reveal? I'm ready. Okay, I'm kind of falling off because my <laughs> my back's not used to this much booty. Are you ready for this? I'm ready. Yeah. Listen, I don't think you're ready for this. I've never been warmer. <laughs> I've never been warmer. I don't think I'm you're ready for this jelly. This is great. Grab the corset. Okay. Corset. Oh, it's right here. Right here. Work. Oh, it's kind of like a three sizes too small. Well, we're gonna make this work. I just want to do one thing before I put this on. Okay, thank you. <laughs> Run the top, make it drop. There's right. no way this is gonna fit me. Yeah, for sure. 100. Now you grab the top. Okay. I grab the bottom. We have to connect the, the, the second one. Oh, they're quite separated right now. You ready? Pull. And pull your tights up as far as they can go. I think my ready? Yep, yep. Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, there we it's go. in my throat. There we go. On three, one. Okay. Two, three. There we go. There we go. This, this, if this is as tight as it goes, that's fine. That's not even. Right, They're guys. straight. Oh my God. I trust Bob with my entire life. The first time I thought, I thought there's no way this is gonna get tighter. Like this is the max that my body can do. But no, oh no, it did. It did. Again. Oh no. And again. <laughs> and again. And again. And again. Oh. One more. Here we go. One, two. It hurt. Now, I can't exhale. No, you just keep breathing in. Now let's look at this shoe collection here. Oh, now. I was, I was gonna look at this shoe collection over here. This shoe is probably the sturdiest because mm -hmm. a nice thick heel. Yeah, yeah, I like that. So this one's the safest. Okay. I'm not wearing those. We are going to do, and it's not a bad option. Let's see. Tennis shoe, your sneaker game was really weak. However, it's time to set me away. <laughs> I'm gonna put you in this boot. Okay, uh, can I just see this for a second? This is like at least like 10 inches. But I'm giving, this is like two and a half, three inches. This is 10 inches. That is like, I don't know what guys you've been dating who've been lying to you, <laughs> but that's not 10 inches. <laughs> Mom, are you ready? I'm ready, I'm let's see I'm gonna make you proud. Okay. I'm ready. Oh my God, you look amazing. I feel so epic, but I am feeling it. Like. I'm gonna try my best walk. All right, let's see. Okay, here we go. I mean. Was it bad? No, really? it was amazing. I tried really hard. <laughs> you just hit him with a. Oh, damn. See, okay, I get it's the attitude like, is like... That's, it's all in the attitude. It's all so in the attitude. It's like the I don't have time for anything or anyone. Okay, I got it. Lily, this, I'm, I'm sorry. Morning and night. <laughs> Honestly, the energy I was channeling was my drag mother, Bob. I thought elegance, but attitude. That's what I was chan channeling. Elegance and attitude. Anyways, everyone's done here. Let me try and have all the late night people get together. Jimmy and the other Jimmy and, and Jay, if they all get together and do a pageant, I'm telling you right now, more than your night is gonna be the winner. That's what's up! There it is. Oh my God, thank you so much for watching the show. If you click here, I think you can subscribe to the channel. If you click over here, more clips just like this one. Click them.